The case for Apple switching its iPhones over to USB Type-C has been on the cards for years. Apple's Lightning port is currently too slow for efficiently moving 48 megapixel raw photos from the phone to a computer. In fact, Wi-Fi is quicker. But until recently, Apple has dug its heels in despite claims the iPhone 14 series would make the switch. With the iPhone 15, says Mark Gurman, all of this will change. Following new EU regulation that requires all phones sold in the block from 2024 onwards to feature USB Type-C charging ports, Apple's hand has effectively been forced. But there is still another twist in this story. The EU mandate states that all phones sold in the region have to use USB Type-C by autumn 2024. Given this time frame, Apple wouldn't necessarily have to add USB Type-C to the iPhone 15. It could hold off on making the switch until the release of the iPhone 14 in 2024 which would likely get a release date around the time regulation kicked in. But Apple is apparently keen to make the switch early. Why? German says that it wants to switch its iPhones and iPads over to USB Type-C a year early so that it can claim that the switch over was its idea, not the EU's. But Apple's use of USB Type-C will apparently be short-lived as the company's wider plans for charging on iPhone and iPad do not require any charging ports whatsoever. How can a phone ship with no charging ports? MagSafe Wireless Charging there have been rumors of a portless iPhone for years but it now appears that Apple will use the switch to USB-C as a stopgap, buying it time to bulk out MagSafe's charging speeds, before switching its iPhones over to purely wireless charging in either 2024 or 2025. But for this to happen, and actually work, Apple will need to make MagSafe charging a lot faster. Currently, MagSafe's wireless charging speeds top out at 15 watts. Of course. Apple's wireless charging tech is adaptive, so it changes the power as your phone gets fuller. But to replace a wired charging option, Apple will need to double or triple MagSafe's top-end charging speeds. But Apple knows this and given its focus on keeping the iPhone as user-friendly as possible, I don't see it making the switch to 100% wireless charging until it has the technology to make the switch seamlessly. This means we'll likely see some massive improvements in MagSafe during the next couple of years more speed, more features, etc. This is similar to what it did with the headphone jack. People went crazy when Apple removed it from the iPhone. But as we all now know, Apple was essentially correct. The move, while controversial at the time, was a masterclass in market-defining vision. It also helped Apple create an additional $23 billion revenue stream in the form of its AirPods. And once Apple has the tech in place, a beefed-up MagSafe standard, all of its other mobile products will make the switch over to purely wireless charging, meaning its iPads. In addition to this, German reckons Apple's iPad could make the switch to USB-C before the iPhone 15 meaning the first Apple USB-C iPad could launch in 2023. Apple Watch and its AirPods are already, technically, MagSafe-powered, although both currently use USB-C for charging purposes. Given how they're used differently, things will likely stay as they currently are in Apple's wearable division of products. Go to the page of this channel and watch other interesting videos about smartphones and technology.